It's February, so you guys know what that means. Groundhog Day? Uh-uh. President's Day? Mm-mm. It's Black History Month, and as someone in the gaming and entertainment space, I wanted to do a video on showing the major footprint of black inventors and black game developers in the gaming industry. So, in this video, I'm going to go through the top black inventors and game developers that come to mind and I will show you guys how much we have made a footprint in the gaming industry. You can't talk about the black contributions to gaming without mentioning Jerry Lawson. That's right folks, during the 1970s, Jerry and his team invented the Fairchild Channel F. But today, you may know it as just your simple video game console, but back then, it was a big hit. And he also helped develop the video game cartridge, and those cartridges were used in the console to play the games. It was adopted by both Atari and Nintendo. And once he helped develop that, he left and became even more of a boss and made history as the owner of Videosoft, the first black gaming development company. The company went on to develop games like Atom Smasher and Scavenger Hunt. And did you guys know a black inventor helped create the first combined video game console and personal computer? Ed Smith is his name and gaming was, well, his game. Smith helped create the MP1000, and two years later, his team developed a personal computer known as the Imagination Machine, Imaginat, which is also the name of an autobiography he's featured in. But let's take a journey out of the United States for this next one. Let's talk about Muriel Tremis, otherwise known as the first black female game designer. She was a game designer from Martinique, an island in the Caribbean Sea. She started out working on military drones, but shifted into the gaming industry in 1986. Travis is most known for developing games like Muillo and Freedom Rebels in the Darkness. And if we're still talking about black women who had a major footprint in the game development industry, I must also name Alice Wonder Woman Washington, who worked behind the scenes of Atari's arcade manufacturing plants in the 1980s. She helped install the print circuit boards, allowing machines to function smoothly. A lot of the arcade games we love wouldn't have been possible without her. And I know you guys have played Pokemon Go before, if you're watching this, more than likely. Because, well, you're on my channel, and you're probably a nerd. So, let's talk about that. We have to talk about Dr. Gladys Mae West. Did she invent Pokemon Go? No. But did she play a role in developing global positioning systems, otherwise known as GPS? Yes. So, without her work, location-based games like Pokemon Go wouldn't have been possible. Those are just a good few major contributions by black people in the past to the gaming industry. But let's talk about some more modern contributions by black people in the gaming industry. Have you been playing Grand Theft Auto 4 or 5 lately? How about Red Dead Redemption? Well, guess what? A black game developer helped make those. His name is Sean Alexander. He made a name for himself in the modern gaming world, and he later left the world of blockbuster games with Rockstar to create his own company, New Challenger. Shortly after, he created the video game Treasury and Beatdown City in 2020, and is on multiple platforms. His work is featured in a museum of the moving image in Queens. And how about taking video games and just finding a way to add more diverse representation. Well, this is what Tanya DePass did. She is the founder and director of I Need Diverse Games, and she spearheaded the nonprofit to bring the work of marginalized communities to the forefront in the gaming industry. She founded the nonprofit in August of 2016, and it's a Chicago-based organization. It aims to support visibility and access for underrepresented people within the video games industry, and is funded through Patreon and fundraising campaigns. Those are just a handful of the major black contributors to the gaming industry, and I hope if you plan to make a footprint in the gaming industry as well, I hope you're doing something you're passionate about as well. Maybe I'll be talking about you someday. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And happy Black History Month. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.